So, Animals as Leaders, The Woven Web. Uh, there's a lot going on in this song, uh, but it's a ton of fun to play. My hope with this video is that I can at least try to give you a general overview of the song, uh, break different parts of it down for you, talk a little bit about the time signatures that are involved, um, and also talk about the foot pattern uh, that's prevalent in the midsection of the song and also toward the end. Um, and hopefully you guys can uh, take this information and learn it for yourself. All right, so the first section of the song I'd like to talk about is just the first part, basically. Uh, it's, if you're following along in the transcription that I have attached to this video, um, it's section A, it's labeled on that transcription. Um, and the majority of this section is really jumping back and forth between different time signatures. Uh, it starts out in 3-4 time, then jumps in the next measure to 3-8 time. Um, you have a few more measures back and forth between 3-4 and 3-8. Then you uh, have your last two measures of this section in 7-8, and then finally in 4-4. Four, four. Um, a lot of syncopation is built into all those different time signatures, which can be kind of complex. Um, and in addition to that, you, um, at least if you're a right-handed drummer and you have your ride cymbal on your right hand side, uh, your right hand will be basically keeping a quarter note pulse throughout that whole time frame um, while your other limbs are jumping back and forth between time signatures. So. Uh, for an example, let me just play that section for you. I'll do it a little bit slower so that hopefully you can hear um, some of the, the nuances that you might not otherwise hear in the up-to-tempo version. So here's an example of that right now. So the next section I want to talk about is section E. Um, and this is the, the big double bassy part of the song, a lot going on with your feet. Um, I guess the best way to summarize this is that it's, like, it, like I said already, lots going on with your feet. There's alternating um, 16th notes going on, um, and in addition to that, there are flurries of 32nd notes thrown in every so often. Um, on top of that, just kind of keeping quarter note pulse with my right hand I used um, on either a crash cymbal or a China symbol, and then with your left hand interjecting um, snare hits in kind of a basically just a syncopated eighth note pattern. So um, I would think a lot of people might be tempted to play the bass drum part as alternating single strokes. Um, I actually did not do that. I've seen other cover videos who do that, but in this case I decided to play um, the 32nd notes as drags basically treated them as a drag rudiment um, and played them as quick double strokes with my left or right foot. So um, I will go ahead and play um, an example both ways for you just so you can see the difference. Uh, first I'll do it as alternating single strokes and then I'll show you how I did it in the video a little bit slower um, using drags for those 30 second notes.
right, so uh, the next section I'd like to talk about is section G. And this section may not necessarily seem like it's quite as daunting as, for example, the double bass drum section that we already talked about, but there is still some kind of interesting things going on behind the scenes. Um, for the majority of this part, you'll be playing quarter notes on the China cymbal, um, but in addition to that, you'll be playing a syncopated pattern between your snare drum and your feet um, that is basically kind of encapsulated in this 7-8 time signature. So you'll be playing quarter notes in 4-4 four, four with probably your right hand, I assume, or maybe your left hand, um, on a China cymbal, and then playing in 7-8 with the rest of your body. Um, and you'll basically be creating this kind of interesting modulation effect. So you'll be playing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, with your hand, but then the rest of your body will be playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here's an example of that. all that I've got for you today. Um, I hope that this was all helpful and that you can take this information that I talked about today and hopefully apply it to, uh, to learning the song for yourself.